about what she got left. We want to fight over what's left. I told my ain't got time to fight over that. We got to continue to live for Christ. Hallelujah. We don't have time, but he has a way. Hallelujah. But when you can begin to offer that to somebody else, hallelujah, who's in the family, that's why I told them about land should stay in the family. So that the next generation that's coming up will have a place. If they never have anything else, they'll have a piece of land where they can begin again. Yeah. See, because we have forgotten all about it. Because nowadays they're like, when you reach 18, you're out of my house. Yeah. When do you stop becoming a parent? Never. Yeah. Never. You would rather have your child out there on the street. That's what I tell them about my daughter. She will always have a room in my house. Because I will not let my daughter be going to the streets because she don't have a job because she's 18 years old. She's 21 years old. She's 30 years old. That does not mean that I will let her go into the street and let the world just take her down to a place. No, she's more than that. She's a Thomas. Hallelujah. And as a Thomas, I am responsible still for her. Hallelujah. And for where she's going. So i got to lay down some roots to where she can come back to something and have something. Hallelujah. That's good. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. It's not worldly, but it's all a part of God's plan. It's a principle. That we should be leaving a legacy. Yes. Especially for those that are coming up behind us. The next generation. Go ahead and read. Verse 10. Okay. Always at my table. Always. It don't matter where you came from. It matters where you're going. Yes. What are you going to do now to change your direction? Hallelujah. Yes. You don't have to be in the same place you are right now. Yes. yes. Lord yes. Life may have beaten you down, but you can get up. That's good. The song says, I won't go back. I won't go back. I won't go back. I guarantee you, when Mo Shiverfeld got to that table, he said, I ain't going back down the loader bar. I'm at the master's table now. And they begin to bring me everything. I'm even getting the land that was supposed to be mine anyway. Because of my dad, what my dad did, what my father did, how many fathers are still being responsible. Enough to leave stuff for your own life. Hallelujah. Why today you want to be on top of the world and tomorrow you want to be down in Loaded Bar? Come up out of Loaded Bar and begin to sit at the king's table. Hallelujah. Because everything you need is at that king's table. Hallelujah. Because he's the one who created you. Don't you know before he even created you, he created everything you needed? Then when he created, he said, name them all. So he gave you knowledge after he gave you all that. Yes, he gave he did. you that knowledge mm -hmm. to name all the animals. Yeah. What kind of God is that? Hallelujah. Mighty good. God too that even, when he, even when he destroyed it all with water. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. See, I won't do that again. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's good. But yet, in the midst, and we find in the New Testament, he says, since his only begotten son. Yeah. That's good. For God so loved the Love world. The world. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever. Yeah. Whosoever. Whosoever. Didn't leave nobody out, y'all. Nobody out. The drunk or the alcoholic. No, no, he didn't leave him out. The ones that don't smell good. The ones that don't look like it. The ones that are another color. He didn't leave him out. He said whosoever. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But yet we still. Mm. Still want to play Russian roulette. Right. Today we're up, tomorrow we're down. We are lame from our falls. We are running out on our lives. We get so busy running until we trip and we fall. We have fallen into trouble. We've fallen into confusion. We've fallen out of the will of God. We've fallen into sin. We've fallen into yokes and bondage. We've fallen into our own ways instead of God's ways. We've fallen into curses. We've fallen into selfishness. We've fallen into pride. We have even carried and dropped, been dropped by somebody trying to save us. We've been dropped by somebody else's fall. We've been dropped by somebody else's sin. Because we allow these things to happen in our lives. Right. Because we want to be disobedient. Mm -hmm. Can I use that word? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Disobedient. That's it. That's God it. break it down? I mean, you do not obey. If God has already laid it out for you, wrote it in a book for you, mm. maybe that's the problem. He wrote it in a book. Because now you have to read the book. Mm -hmm. So now you have to study the book. 
Define you and see yourself. So are we really studying the book? No. Are we following the directions he's already left for us? No. If you really want to sit at the king's table, you got to know who you are uh -oh. and who you serve. Amen. You got to know who your creator is. You got to know who even made the table. Hallelujah. Yeah. Whoever put the stuff on the table. Hallelujah. If the cow on a thousand hills belongs to him, and the earth is the fullness of it, all that belongs to him. Do we really trust God? Mm -hmm. See, I say it's so seed and people look at me like, what? Yeah. He want my money. Mm -hmm. That's all church wanted, did money. But everything else operates off the same exchange. Because yes, it's only it a does. means of exchange. That's yeah. right, Pastor. It's only a means of exchange. And it's the only way it's gonna, we're going to survive. We're going to have to exchange. You got your clothes, you had to give them some money. A means of exchange. When I say sow a seed, I'm saying sowing into something in God's kingdom. Hallelujah. We want to advance his kingdom together. Hallelujah. When you come out of Lodabar and come up to the king's table and start to eat real good. Mm. Oh, that's the same. Preach faster. Yeah. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. You're going to eat bread all day long. Hallelujah. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Give us our daily bread. 